on a fire escape. When there's a fire, you use it to escape. Gee, what a novel concept. <laughs> the amazing Rando. Today we're gonna play Deja Vu once again for the NES. Now, this game kind of plays like a, uh, like it's trying to be a film noir. So it may seem a little bit slow, but uh, trust me, it's actually a really cool game. Here we go. You're waking from a stupor that feels like a chronic headache after a week in Vegas. You notice your right palm is covered with dried blood, but you can neither find or see nor feel any wounds. Sorry, the the text comes up pretty slow. But still. And I don't know why, but anytime I played this when I was a kid, the the theme music got stuck in my head. <laughs> Hell it still does. Uh-oh. You feel a sharp pain on your left forearm. Rolling up the sleeve, you find a tiny puncture on your arm. Has a doctor injected me with some with a medicine? Then you realize you can't remember who you are. You have no idea where you are and why you're here. You have no memory. Whatsoever. And this is this is basically how the game plays. You've got all these menu options. So then you can examine things. It's a light brown trench coat that matches your trousers. Well, that's nice. You feel something in the pocket of the coat. Yeah, so let's open the coat. Open the pocket. And this is your inventory with a hanky, gum, sunglasses, sunglasses. Can we... Can we take the sunglasses? Take the sunglasses. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I want to see if we can actually put them on and if that does anything. I don't think I've ever tried that. What would you like to use these on? Myself. You can't put them on. They're too big. The sunglasses are too big? What the hell do I have sunglasses for? Take the wallet. Yeah, screw it. Take the coat. There's nothing more handy than a 38 at your side. Yeah, take the gun too. Alrighty, so. Open the door to the stall. Let's get the hell out of here. Which means we have to move. You're in the washroom. Well, no shit. You were in a bathroom stall from the looks of it when we woke up. All right, so. Open the door. And now we can exit the bathroom entirely. You feel like you've missed something in this room. Did I? Oh, that's right. The whole amnesia thing. I forgot. You see yourself in the mirror. You again realize with horror that you can't remember who you are. 
There. You done now? All right, let's leave. You're in a dingy hallway. Yeah, looks that way. Open the door. I did. And let's see. Joe's bar, eh? You're in a dark, empty bar. Obviously, the bar is closed, or else you've scared everyone away. <laughs> Am I that ugly? I don't know. What is this? It's a shot glass full of seltzer. That might come in handy, and pockets are magic in Nintendo games. So I'll just hold on to that for a minute. Open the door. You know, let's go upstairs first. You're in the upstairs hall leading to to a door on the walls are some posters of fighters. You feel very dazed. You had better do something about it. Your memory loss is making you feel weary. You feel like you've been up for many days without any sleep, only worse. All right, so... We can examine these guys. It's a poster of Puff McMuffin. How do they come up with these names? A poster of some boxer named Doghouse. Right, Doghouse Riley. They give them such goofy names. And then, it looks like a poster of you. But then, you can't remember who you are. The name underneath says Ace Harding. It doesn't ring a bell. Open the door. All right, so head on in. You're in a reception room or secretary's office. The odor of cheap perfume still lingers in the air. It's an everyday run-of-the-mill desk. There's a drawer on the other side. So let's open it up, see if we can find out what's in it. An envelope. That might come in handy. Take the envelope number one. Let's take a let's check out the envelope, see what's in it. Open the envelope one. A bill? What kind of bill? You talking like you owe me money or we're talking legislature? It's a bill from Dr. Brody made out to Joe's bar. Address 934 Sherman Street, Chicago, Illinois. Well, now we know what city we're in. Bill. Ten capsules, ten dollars. Or capsules, ten dollars. Sodium pentothal. If I remember correctly, that's a truth serum. Medrazine. No idea what that is. Diethanol trimine? Whoa, that's a lot of dough. It sounds familiar, but you can't be sure. Hmm. The door won't open. It must be locked. Well, we have a key. Let's see if that actually does anything. Oh, we got a key. Oh, it's in the coat. 
open the pocket. Is it in the coat or is it in the... It's in the wallet. That's where it's at. Okay. Open the wallet. Yeah. Okay, fine. I guess I gotta take the key out of the wallet first and then use it. Alright. What would you like to use it on? How about this door that's locked? Click! The key worked! All right, now we can go in and see what's up. Oh, you're in an office. A dead body is slumped over the desk. His left hand grips the phone receiver, which looks like it was cut from the phone. There appears to be something in his pocket. Okay then. Can we open the pocket? Okay, I was a little nervous about it selecting open and then clicking the dead body. <laughs> Another key, let's take that. It could come in handy. The music kind of gives you a sense of urgency, even though there's no real time limit as far as I know in here. Can we examine... What is this? It's a wall safe with a combination lock. Probably can't open it yet. It's an old-fashioned telephone. The cord hangs limply from it. If you say so. On the desktop, there is a pool of dried blood. There's a drawer on the other side of the desk. Alright. What we learned from the other desk is, open the desk. What, is, what information do we have? A pencil? How handy could that be? I don't know. Maybe we should... Okay, we got key number three. Should we take the pencil? Screw it, let's take the pencil. <laughs> you never know when a good pencil might be the best thing for you. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. And back in the hallway. And back in the bar. Let's check out what's in here. You're in the wine cellar. The place looks like it could use a good sweeping. Yeah, probably. Let's open the tap. Open the wine tap. And we'll just let that pour. It's a wine rack. The bottles are very dusty. One of the bottles on the right hand side appears to be quite clean. Huh. Let's do this. Not just because it's funny or seems funny, but it's because it's what you have to do. Socko! <laughs> when you move the bottle, the whole wine rack slides to the side. A secret passageway is revealed. Sneaky, sneaky. Basically, this is an early point and click adventure. You have to try everything. Open the door. Let's see here. 
You're in a casino. There's nobody around. You're standing in front of the elevator. It's not an elevator, it's the elevator. But, if, honestly, until I got a new copy of this game, which was a couple weeks ago, I don't remember ever seeing this particular part of it. Part of, This part of the game. Where do you want to go? How about the very top? When the button is pressed, the elevator starts moving. Gee, what a novel concept that an elevator moves when you press a button. And the elevator stops and the doors open. Again, something you'd expect. But it's supposed to, whoa. What kind of room is this? It looks weird. It looks kinky. It looks like an unusual chair. It has restraints for the arms and head. Yes, it does. Perhaps it's a dentist's chair? Oh. You poor naive sap. What's this? It's an empty medicine vial. Sodium pentothal. Sodium pentothal is written on the label. What has it been used for? Well... What do you think sodium pentothal is used for? If it really is a truth serum? If I remember that correctly. The medicine vial's label says Medrazine. Let's go ahead and take that. Examine some more. Empty. Okay. Sounds familiar, but you can't remember why. Probably because it was used on your bitch ass. It's a wastebasket. Well, no shit. I was hoping there was something in it. It's an elevator button. Okay. <laughs> let's see about... Yeah, let's just... <laughs> now, normally... When I'd play this as a kid, I would exit this area through the sewers. But let's try leaving through the fire escape. See what happens. <laughs> you have a breathtaking view of the alley below. All right, you're on a fire escape. When there's a fire, you use it to escape. Gee, what a novel concept. You're in a dark alley. Lovely. All right. Hi. You see a mugger in your way. He wants all of your money. He might. It might be wise to give it to him. Or, it might be wise to give him a knuckle sandwich. Socko! Socko. A quick jab to the mugger's eye stuns him. He runs down the street, shouting, I'll be back! He will be back. You're standing in the street in front of the bar. And there's a car in front of the bar. Can we open the door to the car in front of the bar? It must be locked. <gasps> but we have keys. K 
Can we use one of these keys to open the car? Click. The door is now open. Unlocked. Ha ha. Let's see what's in here. You see nothing unusual about the plush interior of the Mercedes Benz. Ooh, we've got a fancy car. But, let's see how. Open the dashboard. Oh. What is this? It's a snapshot of a 400 pound woman. That's kind of rude. She doesn't look any heavier than 280. <laughs> you feel as if you should recognize her. It's a street map. The way to Joe's bar is marked in ink. The address is 1060 Peoria Street. The writing on the map? It reads Ace. Follow this route. That way you'll know if you're being followed. Be careful. You don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. Oh, Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk? What's going on? Aha. Uh -huh. Let, let's get out of here and, uh, we've got, we've got key three. Does that do anything to this? Let us see. Is she still in the trunk? I would like to use it on the trunk of the car. Click. The key unlocks the front door of the bar. Oh. Well, that doesn't help me. But thanks. Let's try. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Click. It is closed. <laughs> I wonder. I don't know. Okay. Can we start the car? With key number two? You can't do that here. Well, that's douchey. Wait a minute, what about you? You look like an ignition spot. Right there. <gasps> Kaboom! Oh, that's right. I forgot. You just fell for the oldest trick in the book. You've been blown into s little bits. From the beginning, the odds were against you. It was only a matter of time until you reached the end. I completely forgot there was a bomb in the car. <laughs> Oh well. There are several different endings to this game, which is what kind of made it very interesting. Trying to get as far as you could, could and solve the mystery and figure out who you really are and why you woke up in that bathroom. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know by hitting the like button and leave a comment if you feel like having a conversation or just want to say something silly 
and feel free to check out some more videos that I've done. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.